You can't give shit left arts an inch. Can you define shit left arts? All collectivists, all kinds of collectivists. But why do you call them shit? Because they are shit. If you think differently from them, they will kill you. This is the point. You can't give shit leftists an inch. If you give them an inch, they will use it to destroy you. You can't negotiate with leftards. You don't negotiate with trash because they will end you. If they, the left, have a guy that beats his wife off, if it's one of them, he puts on the green scarf pro-abortion and yells about neoliberalism all the time and they hide it. If suddenly there's a journalist that molests another journalist, they hide it. When it's one of them, they hide it. They hide all of those aberrations. Now, if you are on the other side, they will ruin you, they'll kill you, they will throw you everything, they don't care if they ruin your whole life. Why? Only because you don't think like them, and do you know what's the good part in all of this? Because since to err is human, since everyone can be mistaken, they force us to be better, and since we are getting better than them, since we are crushing them in the cultural battle. We are not only superior economically, we are morally superior, we are aesthetically superior, we are better than them at everything, and that triggers them. And since they can't beat us with real arguments, they just use the repressive apparatus of the state, with loads of taxpayer money to destroy us, and yet they're still losing. They had to remove the blacklist, they had to remove the blacklist. You understand? They're losing. Their desperate shit leftists are losing the cultural battle. For the first time ever, they are cornered. Those shit lefters. He did it, gang! That is the new president of Argentina, Javier Millet. The Argentinian Trump has won the presidential election, and he did it in a massive landslide. And obviously, leftists...